in this lecture we will try to learn a bit more about functions so just to make a recap in last lecture we learned that function is a code block that performs a typical work okay it performs a, a work where you give it some input parameters and based on that it gives you an output okay so now we will see in this code about the how it works okay about how the memory is handled in function okay so whenever you call so let's look at a few things okay we will look at functions in terms of operating systems okay so you have program counter okay program counter or instruction counter okay which stores which line of code the computer is now executing okay so when you have a function so we initially declare a function which returns a float type whose name is kilometer to miles okay so it takes a, an argument distance in kilometers and it converts converts it into distance in miles so what happens now is that the code is running okay and there is a program counter which has the memory location of the next instruction so what happens when we are calling let's say kilometer to miles this function then the program counter needs to go to the line of the code okay where this function is written okay and then the return method okay so the return method again it makes the program counter come back to the next line okay so what happens let's say this is line number 1001 okay and this kilometers to mile is written as 5005 line number so program counter after this line when this function is called so it will now become 5005 this is the next line which needs to be executed then here 1002 line number or the next line number after this will be stored okay and then when all the lines in the function let's say it was till 5010 line number they are executed the function body is executed and return comes so it again comes back to line number 1002 so this is about the program counter how it happens now let's see about memory what happens to the memory so when a function is called okay what happens is there is a stack memory a memory called stack where so when we are calling kilometers to mile distance in kilometer okay so distance in kilometer is basically this variable which was taken from the user okay and here distance from kilometer is let's say so let's make a table so we have some variables one is distance in kilometer okay this is the variable name okay so let's try to make a good table to understand this so we have some variables so distance in kilometer is one variable let's say it is stored in a place 505 okay in memory location 505 and it has a value let's say the user gives it a value 6 and now we have to calculate distance in mile okay so this is let's say the computer allocates it's a memory location 610 okay so memory location 610 is allocated in this we want to store the value so now we don't know what is the value here next we call the kilometers to mile function and we pass argument distance to kilometer which is 6 but you will see that this also becomes a this argument becomes a local variable it becomes a local variable for the function and here so distance in kilometer is again it becomes this kilometer a variable which is on the local stack of the function so let's say it's assigned 710 memory location 
so here the same value of distance in kilometer will be copied here okay so here this one is a local variable which is copied value of distance in kilometer now what happens so we will also have distance in miles which is there in the function a local variable which is returned after calculating the value in miles from distance from kilometer and we have so it returns 6 into 0.62 and this value is stored in distance in miles when we return so when we return distance in mile so again a copy of this is made okay so this is copied into the distance in mile which was in the main function okay so these this way so there is local variables are there in the function stack and a copy of the arguments are made in the parameter while parameters are passed okay so now what we do so for your benefit i have printed the memory locations of all the variables so that it can become clear that the arguments that we pass are copied here okay a copy of them is made and they are not the actual value that is here okay so let's try to see so we now build this code okay so it's running fine let's try to see there is a function kilometer to miles it takes distance in kilometer as argument which is of float type and returns distance in miles okay so we have two variables we enter distance in kilometers user enters the number of kilometers it converts into distance in miles okay and now what happens here it is a very simple function in distance in kilometers it is converted to distance in mile a float distance to mile is there a float variable which is local to the function it now calculates the distance in miles from distance in kilometer and returns that value distance in mile okay and this distance in mile again a copy of this is made here and it is returned back which assigned it is which is assigned here in distance in miles okay so let's try to run this code and we will see okay so we run this code enter the distance in kilometer let's say we put 9 and then let's see Mem debug statements are there where we print the memory memory location of distance in miles okay is this so distance in miles is variable here this one a function local variable <laughs> distance in miles so its memory location is 28 ff14 distance in kilometer is also here distance in kilometer is the local variable the argument variable so distance in kilometer is 28 ff20 okay so these two variables are in the function and distance in mile the result is given but in the main function memory location of distance in kilometer is 28 ff44 which is different from distance in kilometer that was passed as parameter so we see that they are different copies distance in miles which is the main function in the main function it is a local variable the distance in mile is also here different from this memory location 28 ff40 and this is 28 ff14 so they are all different okay so this tells us the how the memory is created so we will just take a recap so whenever what happens you pass a function parameter okay so the it is a the parameter is copy of the variable that is passed okay so it is the copy of the variable so it is pass by value so this is called pass by value we copy the values and they are replicas of it and actually the variables that we pass they are aren't actually changed so i hope you understand this thanks a lot